I did this one last night. So hopefully I did I So hopefully I didn't fuck up this one. <laughs> that last quiz uh That last quiz I am going to redo. Uh, I was watching Raw Sorts and then I was watching Alex, so yeah, you're right. Alex might have f fucked me over too. But yeah, I hope you were watching the other night because this is the first question. Boom! Who won Best International Group at the 2021 Brit Awards? Run the Jewels, Foo Fighters, BTS or Heem? Is that how you say it? Heem? Who won Best International Group at the 2021 Brit Awards? Run the Jewels, Foo Fighters, BTS or Haim? Checking for players now, checking for players now. The answer is... Haim won Best International Group. Best International Group at the 2021 Brit Awards. Haim won it. Next question. You can hardly see them there, but anyway. The hit Blinded by the Light by Manfred Mann's Earth Band was written by whom? Was it Bruce Springsteen, Neil Sedaka, Paul McCartney, or Neil Diamond? Um, no, they're not, but I don't, I don't know where they're from, actually. Are they American? Or Canadian? Or I don't know. What, where are they from? Haim. Haim. Haim are from Los Angeles. There you go. Haim is an American pop rock band from Los Angeles. The band consists of three sisters. Este Haim, Danielle Haim and Alana Haim. There you go. They're from Los, a Los Angeles. Blinded by the light. I thought you were at Trackers now, Lurch. <laughs> it was Bruce Springsteen. Of which five people got right. Neil Diamond was... Unpopular. They're not even that popular in the UK. <laughs> it's just the Brit Awards are a bit snobby. And they want to give it to like an act that, ooh, you know. Who actually listens to it? Nobody really listens to him over here. They're just the, they're just the critic's choice. Do you know what I mean? We didn't vote for them. BTS is all the kids like, isn't it? Third question. Which Christina Aguilera video is this gif from? Is it from What a Girl Wants? Dirty? Genie in a Bottle? Or Beautiful? Which Christina Aguilera video is this gif from? What a girl wants? Dirty? Genie in a bottle? Or beautiful? Memorize some of, mem memorize some of those, what, dirty clerks? <laughs> Ah, uh, the answer is, I am beautiful. <laughs> Memorise those uh, questions from for next week, because I'm going to use that same quiz for next week. <clears throat> I might switch them around a bit, though. It was beautiful. Question four. Is about this group. Well, not really. Fuji's big number one, Killing Me Softly, was a 1973 US number one for who? 
Roberta Flack, Aretha Franklin, Dionne Warwick, or Gladys Knight. Killing Me Softly was uh, number one over here for the Fugees in 1996, but who? I'm not doing another new quiz. I've done lots of new quizzes, Lurch. <coughs> I've got quizzes coming out of my ears. Roberta Flack, Aretha Franklin, Dionne Warwick, or Gladys Knight. <coughs> I have done so many quizzes that, no, I'm just going to rejig it and maybe switch questions around a bit, but they're going to be basically the same. The answer was Roberta Flack got the number one in the US and um, she only got the number six in the UK with Killing Me Softly. Who is next? These cheeky chappies. But what I want to know is... Are you going to go my way? No. Uh, what was Wet Wet Wet's first number one in the UK? Was it Good Night Girl, Love Us All Around, With a Little Help From My Friends, or Sweet Little Mystery? <clears throat> what was Wet Wet Wet's first number one in the UK? Good Night Girl, Love Us All Around, With a Little Help From My Friends, or Sweet Little Mystery? Let's have a go. It was a double A side. But how many times was Billy Bragg on top of the pops? None. <laughs> uh, sweet, but sweet Little Mystery um, didn't get the number one. I think got number two. Uh, but the Little Help My Friends got to number one in 1988. Uh, along with Billy Bragg on the B side. Good Night Girl got to number one in 1991. Love Was All Around got to number one in 1994. So there. My apologies to Wet Wet Wet. <clears throat> Look at these boys. <laughs> Do you like Manchester United? To date, this is the only team, football team, that has got to number one in the UK charts. England has got to number one in the UK charts. No other team other than Manchester United has got to number one in the UK charts. But what I want to know is, who wrote and produced Come On You Reds for Manchester United in 1994? Was it Chaz and Dave, Lightning Seeds, Status Quo or Suggs? My United reached number one in 1994 with Come On You Reds, but who wrote and produced it? Chaz and Dave, Lightning Seeds, Status Quo or Suggs? I don't know why, but I always like the that Manchester United uh, goalkeeper kit. I don't know why. It was just like throw a lot of paint at the wall and see what sticks. Just it was a bit weird. The answer was status quo. Chaz and Dave wouldn't have done it because they support Tottenham. Lightning Sage did uh, three lions with uh, Bedil and Skinner. Uh, status quo did come on your heads with Manchester United, even though. Status quo, I believe, also support Tottenham. <laughs> but they don't give a shit. They just want the money. <laughs> so yeah, it was based on their 1988 hit Burning Bridges and they went and changed the lyrics to it because they're lazy. <laughs> Number 
Next one is a mystery voice. But who is it? Let's have a go. I had them done in 2005, one after the other. And a few people come up to me, like ballet dancers and people that have to have the same thing done. And I said, well, just do it, you know, while you're young, because it's a, it's a great... I had no idea up to the run of um, when they were breaking down. It was this thing called a vascular necrosis. They, it's when the bones, the blood supply doesn't get to the top of the bone, and so they start crumbling. So it's a really gradual thing, so you don't really notice. It's only talking about hips. The hips don't lie. But who was talking about it? Who is the mystery voice? I had them done in 2005, one after the other, and a few people come up to me, like ballet dancers and people that have to have the same thing done. And I said, well, just do it, you know, while you're young, because it's a, it's a great... I had no idea up to the run of um, when they were breaking down. It was this thing called a vascular necrosis. They, it's when the bones, the blood supply doesn't get to the top of the bone, and so they start crumbling. So it's a really gradual thing, so you don't really notice. There we go. Dave Gahan, Neil Tennant, Power Jones or Andy Bell? Who was the mystery voice? <clears throat> My throat's going here now. The answer is... It was Andy Bell from Erasure. It was not Neil Tennant from Pet Shop Boys or Dave Cahan from Depeche Mode. It was Andy Bell. Next one. It was. <laughs> Fick off, was it? It was, Andy. I know, because I took it from the Victoria Derbyshire show, Lurch. <laughs> yeah, that was Andy Bell. Yeah, ooh, sometimes. This is Mabel. Name her also famous mum. Michelle Gale, Nina Cherry, Misha Paris, or Naomi Campbell. I would have got her. <laughs> this is Mabel, name her also famous mum. Michelle Gale, Nina Cherry, Misha Paris, or Naomi Campbell. And modern question, Lurch knows of! <laughs> Get the hallelujahs up. Looks like she skinned an alligator to get that jacket. He's a chicken, old man. It's Nina Cherry, and 7 out of 7 got that right. Well done. She's looking good today. So... The next is a set list. I don't know if you can see it all here. Oh, don't worry. This has been the second quiz we've done, Super Says It, because <laughs> the first one I ballsed up in. Right. This should be an easy enough one, I think. Uh, you don't see track nine and number ten, but it doesn't really matter because I don't think they were hits. They say everybody and never say never. This was in Sefton Park in Liverpool, uh, August 29th, 2015. Uh, Sefton Park also kind of famous because it was the first concert after COVID without any masks or social distancing, um, which was about a week ago, wasn't it? Which the Blossoms headlined. But that's a question for another day, so keep that in your head. Okay. So we've only got this is the no, it's nine, ten. There's only three more questions to go anyway. So if we're ready, here we go. Who is the set list from? Bats and Small, Basement Jacks, Fat Boy Slim, or the Chemical Brothers? Who is this set list from? Bats and Small, Basement Jacks, Fat Boy Slim, or The Chemical Brothers?
Waiting for players, waiting for players. The answer is... Basement Jacks. Yeah, uh, Red Alert was their first big hit. Oh My Gosh was another hit. Uh, Good Luck was another hit from them. Um, the other ones weren't hits, really. Good luck, good luck, good luck in your new bed. Enjoy your night, Miss Honey, when you're resting your head. That one there, not. Red alert, red alert, it's a catastrophe. I knew all the songs, I could sing them all. <laughs> this be a record. I can't even remember what the question is. But obviously I couldn't put uh, a picture up of it. So we'll just do that. At the age of 17, who became the youngest female artist in UK chart history to score a number one album? Was it Billie Eilish, Billy Piper, Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera? At the age of 17, who became the youngest female artist in UK chart history to score a number one album? Notice it's UK chart and not UK act. So uh, it doesn't have to be a UK artist. It is UK chart history. At the age of 17... The youngest female artist in UK chart history to score a number one album was Billy Eilish. It was Billy Eilish got a number one. It was not Britney. It was Billy Eilish. I think uh, Britney's probably Ooh. probably more of a singles artist rather than an album artist. And three from ten tonight. <laughs> Did you say Britney? <laughs> I don't even know if she's actually in this quiz or not. Three from ten tonight is this person. Hey, we've already seen him tonight. <laughs> he stole Mabel's outfit. What I want to know is three top 40 hits for this person. Rod Stewart. Have at it. So, three correct top 40 hits from Rod Stewart, please. The Killing of Georgie, Part Time Love, What Am I Gonna Do? Sailing, Get Back, Downtown Train. Tonight's the Night, Island Girl, Every Beat of My Heart. Maggie May, Blue Eyes, or Baby Jean. So three of them are correct top 40 hits from Rod Stewart. But which three is correct? Correct, Lurch. <laughs> Elton John is the red herring. There is three Elton John songs in there. <laughs> and that be Island Girl, Blue Eyes, and Part Time Love were all Elton John songs. Get Back, Sailing, and Downtown Train were all top 40 hits for Rod of the Stewarts. So, here we go. Let's look at the final results, everybody. And we have Raw Sources 1 with 235,739. Lurch is in second with 211,104. Six Foot Mouse is in third with 102,877. Jim Ingram is in fourth with 94,858. 
Fizz Biz is in 5th with 83,021. Ionic Arm is in 6th with 72,675. Super Says is in 7th with 27,834. Uh, Darth Farter is in 8th with 12,089. And another username taken is in 9th with minus 42,973. What was question 10? Oh, it was the Britney one. <laughs> Now, unfortunately with this quiz, uh, there was no prizes, but there was in the other one. Now hold on a second, I'll get the other one up. Uh, right. Because I had prizes for this other one. Uh, right. Uh, slide show, from current slide. Here we go. So. Yeah, that's it now. Time to pick a prize, roll sorts. Hopefully. On the table tonight, Jim and our winner can have fun with this teddy bear talking phone. Pop the yellow, they can also add convenience to their kitchen with this microwave oven. Or this video recorder with the choice of 10 BBC shows is the Green Ball Prize. While the subtle sophistication of this pair of Chinese table lamps, complete with tables, can be won for downing the brown. A relaxing Cornish weekend is theirs for putting the blue in the pocket. And they can have the latest in miniaturised technology with this laptop computer for sinking the pink. Finally, pot the black for a total clearance to win our fabulous mystery star prize. Star prize. Now, actually, um, if you want to know, right, uh, two table lamps and Chinese as well. Uh, look at that. This is a laptop. This is from a episode of Big Break from 1995. So this is a 1995 laptop you're looking at here. Um, it looks about it looks about six inches. <laughs> I wonder how slow it was. <laughs> if we go back here as well. Uh, the video tips. So um, I believe that's absolutely fabulous. I think that's Doctor Who there. That's only foods and horses. I don't know what that is. That's that's very um, muffled. I'm not even sure what that is. I don't know what that. I have no idea what that is. I'm guessing it's some sort of. Yeah. You know, it's too blurry to see. Three, what, what would that be? It looks like three men. Um, I don't know what. Is that a black guy, a white guy, another white guy? And they look like they're wearing, I don't know. Is it Red Dwarf? Could it be like Gunman of the Apocalypse? Or is that, that, ducks up, that looks a bit like Dwayne Dibley there, doesn't it? Yeah. I think that beside that looks like naughty. But anyway, we'll go over here. So Roll Source is one. Sorry about that first quiz. My mind's a foggy haze. Shall we say. Um, right. Okay, what's on the agenda uh, next week? Next week's agenda. Tuesday is Eurovision. Um, well, it's not really Eurovision. It's Eurovision 